Well, Christmas may be a couple of months away, but hunting season is here. The great thing about living in Texas, if you're an outdoorsman or outdoors woman, you can hunt year round. The introduction of exotics really expanded the hunters opportunities and access deer has to be just about the best eating thing out there. Axis deer were introduced to Texas by most accounts in 1932. Most were kept on high fence ranches, but eventually a few escaped. Now they can be found all over South Central Texas. They're out here in numbers. They're all, they're all over the hill country in numbers. Yeah. My host this day was Brent Hardy. His family's owned land in the hill country for almost 50 years. Dad bought it in 1969, and uh, it's been in the family ever since. The axes were imported from India and are now found in 45 Texas counties. They're slightly larger than most Texas whitetail. The bucks have high racks, typically only six points, and occasionally they have more. They have those spots year round too. It's a beautiful deer. And because it's not indigenous. You can hunt them any time of the year and the meat is fabulous. It's better than beef, many say. Just don't tell a Texas cattle rancher that. I set up at the base of a couple of medium-sized oak trees, about 75 yards from a feeder. I tried to sit there quietly, but someone insisted on letting everything in the woods know I was there. Finally, things quieted back down, and slowly, about 400 yards out, Whitetail began moving around, but no axis. The nice thing was, I was on about 400 acres by myself, and no pressure to score. My little brother hunts out here, uh, and uh, and I hunt here, here, but really nobody else does. We have friends who hunt out here. We don't let people uh, hunt for profit out here. My patience paid off. About two hours later, a single buck came in close enough. All right, so I'm eager to see some of your outdoor adventures and really have you go along with me on some of these things. Do you have something for me to check out? Call me at 377-8652-210, of course. That's my desk number. Email me, bdavisatkins5.com, or hit me up on Twitter, at Barry Davis TV. And, you know, I'd like to get some of our, our viewers to go along with me on some of these things. That We're on kayaking awesome. next week. It's yeah. going to yeah. be cool. Oh, that's fun. You know what? If you uh, took me along on your hunting trip, I've been told I'm, I make too much noise in the beer bo do box. What is it called? In deer the, box. In the deer blind. <laughs> no, yeah, in the box. Too, <laughs> in the box. I thought you said you make too much noise in the, the beer, beer box. box. Well, well so do I sometimes. Deer box, just to clarify. <laughs> that's, that's on Friday night. Yeah, you have to be but... quiet, quiet, quiet. Yeah. <laughs> I do have a question, though. Uh, Can you tell the difference between the meat, the axis, and the Oh, rain? let me tell you. Uh, the thing about axis, they have uh, three or four stomachs like a cow, so the food is so processed before it goes into their system. Mm -hmm. The meat, honestly, is is there's no hint of wild game taste to it. It's unbelievable. All right, right. So you're Pumpkin. cooking for us today. Well, that's one of the cool things, too. On some of these, some of these are going to be me cooking what we go out and get. Okay. So it'll we'll, be, you know. We'll take you up we'll on that We'll do it offer. here in the studio. I love this segment. <laughs>